Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Horror Maze. It's a cheap game off Steam. Um, it's kind of like Pac-Man, with first person, with a little more darker theme. You know, running around the halls of this dungeon, collecting yellow dots. There's four ghosts that are trying to get you. So, three of them make noise, and one is silent, from what I read, which is kind of a cheap way to, you know, get you. But, it's very basic. All you do is walking around. You can't interact with anything. Um, well, that's not exactly true. There's a key and there's a door. So you can grab the key, go to the door, next level, which I haven't been able to do yet. So go ahead and start it up. So it's pretty quiet, so you want to listen for like any kind of moans and like ghost noises. That means the ghost is nearby. So you want to be on the lookout for that. Because you have to pretty much turn tail and run as fast as you can. You see a score down there. So you're going to run around, click these dots, look for that key, which I'm not sure if it's randomized or not. I think it, I think it probably is. Well, I found it twice. Nothing down here? That's weird. So it's very simple. So you see the ghost down there? There's two of them. Oh, man. That's what happens when they get you. There's my high score. So I scored 1800 there. That's not a bad little game. Um, I probably actually wouldn't. I don't think I. I may have paid like 50 cents or 90 cents for it. I don't know. But this definitely should be a, a free game. I wouldn't probably wouldn't even pay that. If it was a free game, it'd be like probably just a five out of ten. Something to play really quickly, you know, get a high score, and move on. But definitely anyone can play it because it's just walking around. And then there's a little bit of tense, you know, moments with the ghosts. Especially if you're able to see them and you know start running. Could be over very quickly. So there you have it. That is Horror Maze.